people desperately need to relearn how to have nuanced opinions. Whether on or offline, the majority of people I talk to seem to only be capable of having black and white opinions. Either something is completely terrible or it's the best thing ever. This kind of thinking is harming every aspect of our culture, from social interaction all the way up to policy making. Why is it so hard to say that you don't like someone, but that they can have a good idea looking at you, political fanatics? Why can't people simultaneously recognize an institution as being deeply flawed, but also understand that some form of it probably needs to exist looking at you, abolish the police crowd? I just want people to reintroduce some gray in their lives. Edit to add. I'm not trying to get people to bring their opinions closer to the center. Nuance not equal to centrist. I'm not both sidesing things. Nuance not equal to equal deference to all opinions. I'm not advocating for tolerance of bigots, fascists, or xenophobes. Nuance not equal to blind tolerance. It'll never happen because people treat the internet and everything on it like a high school lunch table. You're not going to associate with people that don't match exactly how you feel because it's too easy not to. Because of the if you're not with us you're against us mentality that still exists for some reason. My opinion is usually that I'm not smart enough to figure it out. Speaking my language, OP. It pains me if this truly is an unpopular opinion. I really, really want this to be understood and embraced by most people in this world. Maybe you have a different life experience from me, but from what I've seen, extreme views are a loud minority kind of thing. The silent majority are grey. For example, most defund the police people are looking for police reform, not actually erasing police from existence. And even out of the people who do want to completely remove police, a lot of them acknowledge that we still need public safety service. They just want to rebuild a new system from the ground up rather than trying to fix the one we have now. 100. It's like if you bash Biden to the wrong person, they'll be like well Trump blah blah and it's like dude, I don't like him either. I'm allowed to not like things about both. I don't have to choose one side or the other. I am trying to be a reasonable person after so many years of not being one. More people need to try and do the same. I think a major problem is when you try to have a new nuanced opinion, you get berated and beaten down and so I think there are a lot of people that have them. They just won't speak anymore because it's not worth to deal with the crazies on either side. I have talked to you a few my liberal friends and when we can actually sit down and talk through it we can see where the other person's coming from and see the complexities of all the issues, but people aren't willing to speak respectfully anymore and that's the problem. I've noticed this being super prevalent in entertainment. Especially with all the recent and upcoming box box releases like Rings of Power, House of the Dragon, anything Marvel. It's like you have to pick a side pick a team and defend it to the death. Why can't I just say this show is pretty good, but not great or this movie wasn't great, but it did this really well. You can't. This is awkward. Most people will think they have a nuanced opinion about things and say this isn't unpopular. But we all know that most people have hard stances on certain things that they probably shouldn't, and will shut down any form of discussion with insults. Reddit subreddit discussions and most internet platform revolves around white or black polarization. I tend to like this product X, but I hate this Y particular. Well, feel free to FCK off. Got banned from a subreddit the other day for hate speech or something similar because I said police unions should exist, since every workforce should have a union, but the current union needs a major overhaul since it doesn't protect good cops and seemingly only promotes bad cops cop behaviors. Zero nuance there, and I even took a lot of the nuance out of it. This is pure facts, but people also shouldn't fall in the centrist both sides are equally bad trap that a lot of self-proclaimed nuanced people do. Be nuanced, but also be aware of the middle ground fallacy. I would even take having their own black and white opinions instead of just whatever they were programmed with by their side of every issue. It's all by design. Drives me nuts. Black or white. Choose a side. Red or blue. 
If you don't fully agree with me then you're on the other side. This is how cults are formed. Judging by the ops edits. He hit the nail on the head. Don't be surprised if a majority of respondents don't understand what nuanced means, or why this should apply to them. IMO you are 100 spot on, but have fun trying to get that point across. In the meantime, whenever you post an opinion that is anything other than solidly black or white prepare to be downvoted, because people simply can't be bothered to think anymore. Nuance and complexity don't sell. Compare how many people watch Fox News verse who subscribe to foreign policy or The Economist. People want simple answers and solutions, even if they're obviously wrong. One could argue that information overload has pushed people this way, but also intellectual laziness can also be blamed. It's just easy to go with simple, great-sounding lies than ugly, complex truths. I know. Right? 100. You criticize America? Why do you live here? You don't love America go back to your country. This is an unpopular opinion? This should be a universally accepted popular opinion. I feel this about the way the big corporate media covers things. They don't present opinions from the middle of an issue. It's mostly voices from the extremes. I guess it makes for better viewing conversation. I always look at the gun debates in America. The media voices are always the guy who thinks you should be able to drive to a high school football game in a fully armed, and loaded armored personnel carrier vs the person who doesn't want to allow movies with guns in them. There are millions of moderate opinions that rarely get voiced. It's the same on so many issues. This is definitely a good opinion. It's the tribe mentality. They're not from the tribe so we will reject everything they offer. Good or bad. We're becoming a very bipolar society. Then again I think it's probably been more like this than not for a long time but we just notice it more because of social media. Then again social media has probably contributed to this becoming more commonplace. Then again. That's the fucking social media and internet effect, complete echo chamber madness. No let's continue to ruin our society instead. Hate to break it to you but people never had it, good idea though. I think a lot of people do have specific opinions, they're just afraid to express them. I love that edits had to made BC people couldn't add nuance to your opinion. Ha 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 ha. The need for your edits themselves perfectly proves your point. Because people want easy answers, and the systems that feed people information have become very good making easy answers rational enough to pass most people's sniff tests. I also blame the education system for prioritizing acceptance and regurgitation of information over critical thinking. Teachers are so hamstrung with regulations that they can't take 10 minutes to answer a student asking why when they want to learn about something in more detail. After a while students just stop asking why about anything and accept what they're told to be true. You need to have a more nuanced opinion about having nuanced opinions d. I think some people need to realize that most people think the people they vote for, or the positions they take, are the best of bad choices. You have some people who love Biden, and others who love Trump, but most people voted for their ancient white racist with a history of sexual abuse, because they thought he was better than the other ancient white racist with a history of sexual abuse. Well only one group is saying stuff like all abortions must be federally illegal and another, is saying there is way too much grey area there for that to be appropriate, and yet we still see idiots claiming both sides are just as bigoted and making stupid reddit posts about how there is no grey area, these days. Relearn. Is there a time in human history you can point to where humans lived peacefully and settled their disputes the way you describe here? I don't necessarily disagree with you but telling people how to have their opinions kinda defeats the purpose of opinions lol. People don't have opinions or principles. They have a team aka tribe, party, group that they identify with and root for. Funny story most Americans are actually in the middle of the political spectrum the extremes just tend to be the loudest. It can be really fun when abortion, police, black live matter topics come up and you tend to just be a sane person. 